Oh my god, Deej is back. Yes, the Deeber is finally gone once again, and I'm really happy with this. I almost look semi-good looking, but not so much, not really. Either way, this is the best style that it's been since I first had this style done, so Rachel, my hairdresser, thank you very, very much. You've done an amazing job. Not that she watches my videos, but she does know I make videos. She just doesn't know my channel name. Who am I talking to? Yeah, let's just move on. Oh, by the way, I'm not wearing the red shirt. Yeah, I do have other shirts in my wardrobe. Probably too much, if anything. It's just my red shirt. It's what I've been wearing to bed lately. I've been making these before I go to bed, so that's why. I'm a clean boy, honestly. I just got out of the shower. Anyway, so yes, today's video, a few videos ago, I talked about uh, bucket lists and things that I want to do in America. So I'm going to talk about that today. So um, one thing that I want to do, which is very inspired by Rhett and Link. If you're a regular viewer of their videos, then you'll know what I'm talking about. If you're not, then a while back they went on this cross-country road trip from North Carolina to California. And on their journey, every state line that they passed, like where the, where the sign was, they would um, dance across, like dance past the sign. I want to do that. Yeah, I know I'm not crossing anywhere near as many states as they are. From what I can gather, it's going to be uh, like Vancouver, so like Canada, like country lines. There's going to be Oregon, uh, Washington, and uh, California, obviously. There might be another one, but I'm not sure. My American geography ain't so good. So, yeah, I know it really does copy what Rhett and Link did, but it just seems like a fun thing to do, so I want to do it for myself. Especially since this is my first, like, proper road trip, so I want to do some things that right, like make it super memorable. Second thing on my road trip bucket list is I want to do a Chinese fire drill, which for those of you who don't know is uh, when your car is at a stop and then everyone gets out of the car and then like runs around like a full, full circuit of the car and then gets back in and then just act like nothing happened. What the purpose is of that, I don't know. Again, it just seems like a really funny thing to do. If you're a regular CTFXC viewer, then you will know what it is, because Charles and Ali do it all the bloody time. What else do I want to do? Oh, well, I'm going to become a uh, like the world's worst photographer and just try and take really arty like photographs. Because the past two times that I've been to America, I've not taken anywhere near enough pictures. So this time I want to document my journey with photos and, you know, vlogs. Just because the camera that I use for both... It produces really good photos. I mean, for like a, a little digital compact one at least, it produces really good stuff. So right now, that's all I can really think of, at least to speak about in this in today's video. So if there's anything that you think that I should uh, try and do on my road trip, then let me know down below. And if it's good enough, then obviously I, I will do it, and you'll be letting me have fun from your suggestion and expense. Is that right? I, I, I'm, not, I'm not sure. Also, I think tomorrow I'm going to... Um, reveal some kind of announcement and hopefully it's one one that you guys will really enjoy especially you creative types that's your first clue probably your only clue if i'm honest but yeah hopefully you really enjoy it and take part in it so yeah please leave your comments down below and i will see you tomorrow ciao didn't really need to emphasize the oh there just make me sound like a spacker